Hey guys, today's video is not going to be of my face, it is going to be of my bullet journal and I'm only going to be filming this first part in a voiceover, well, a live voiceover. The rest of it will be recorded so you won't have to deal with background noise and the echo and everything. But I really quickly just wanted to talk you guys through my planner. And I have the lavender planner, it just comes with a whole bunch of cute icons all over it which just make it that little bit more unique. And yeah, so it's the lavender one. I got mine from Amazon. So I started mine at the start of the year, well, about two weeks into the new year. So I have the January setup already done along with my 2018 stuff. So I thought I'd give you a walkthrough of that and then show you how I'm gonna plan February and put the pen to the paper with you guys. Open up this planner, you've got a sort of like if lost, give to page, but I have not started that. And then of course you've got a key and an index. Again, I haven't started it because I don't know if I want to glue the key page down and just have two index pages, or if I want to use the key. So this is the start of my planner. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. If not, I will macro zoom it in on my computer. So I went really, really simple for my start page. I saw this on somebody's video. I think it might have been Amanda Rachley. I'll leave all inspiration that I can think of down below. Down down below. But yeah, I really, really like the way this just says 2018 and then it says 2018 written there. And then these are some of my proudest spreads. Now this planner has two um, ribbon bookmarks. One of them is always going to sit here and this is the year at a glance or the yearly overview, future log, whatever you want to call it. So in here I've got six months on this page or on this double page and then the other six months on this double page. In here I've got my birthdays at the top listed for every single month and then I've also got my paydays because I get paid fortnightly so it's good to remember when I'm getting paid. I've got my school stuff in two different shades of green. This light green here signifies it's like professional development and then the other green is just school events. And then the pale blue is a holiday. I'm going to Sydney soon. And then orange is a personal event. I also have pink for beauty blogging events, but I haven't been invited to any thus far this year, so there are none in here. Next, I've got two more fun spreads. The first one is my goals. If you want to hear me talk through these goals, I'll leave it linked off down below. I've done a full goal video for 2018, so we won't really worry about this. So this next page is something that I'm really excited about. I've just got a simple star border on the top and the bottom. I shouldn't have really done two different styles side by side, but whatever, I, it's too late now. Anyway, this is called the Year in Pixels. Now this is a mood tracking sort of spread. I used to do mood tracking month by month, but I didn't really keep up with it, but now that I have a whole year on one page, I'm definitely going to keep up with it. As you guys can see, the day that I'm filming this video is the 24th. I like to fill the box in the day after so that I can assess the whole day and pick from one of these moods. As you can see, I've had a pretty dang positive year apart from a few anxious days, but that being said, I am on holiday. This page is very empty. It's basically just got a star border. I went with a star theme for pretty much these three pages just because I thought it was cute, but this is going to be a memory logging page. Obviously, seeing as it's like the 23rd of January, I haven't had any super amazing memories yet. Well, I mean, I have, but none that I want to note down in here, but I think I'm just going to kind of draw like bubbles or stars maybe. Actually, that's a cool idea. I might do them all in different stars and just write a little blurb um, about each memory. Welcome to January. Now you guys haven't seen this monthly setup from me yet, but I have been doing this for about three or four months so far. So on the left page, I have a mini calendar where the only thing that's noted is my paydays. And also if I get my period in this particular month, I will do a dot to signify that. The theme that I went for for this month was um, daisies. So you can see I've got some daisies here. I mean, they're not really that present, but I kind of wanted to pick one or two colors every month to go with. So this month I picked like a yellowy orange color. This follows the same color code as the other ones back here, except these ones I only did dots and this I did in multicolor. I just wanted this to be pretty neutral, so I didn't want to be using like a million different colors. I just did a simple dot, whereas on here I don't mind it looking colorful. So I've got all of my events personal events and school events on here. I like to keep personal on one side, school on the other side so that I can see my work personal life balance. Now this is my first weekly spread and I apologize it's not going to fit completely into the frame but 
I used to do this spread a really long time ago and I went back to it for the first week of the year. Um, well, sorry, the first week that I had a bullet journal. But as you can see, there's so much lost space and I really don't like that. I love the little calendar, I find that super helpful. I love the font, I love the colors, but I just don't like all of this white space here. I was getting ready to flip and show you my new spread, but I flip and I show you these. So I forgot to add these into my yearly planning, so I just put them in here. I've got ideas for date nights. I saw this on, I don't know whose channel, somebody's channel, and she basically just wrote like the ideas here and then she would um, do a cross in one of the, these are obviously for the months, and she'd do a cross on the month that they did that date night, which I thought was really cute. And then down here, I obviously have some video ideas. Um, I don't write all of my videos on, in here. It's like if I'm at work or if I'm doing something and I get an idea and it's like a really good one, I'll write it in here. Brain dump is basically just where I can write to-dos that I need to do at some point in the year, in the month, but I don't have like a specific week to do them. I'll write them in here. Or as you can see, this little star signifies like an idea or a note. That was just some things that I maybe want to do in Sydney. By the way, if you guys are from Sydney, give me some ideas on what I should do while I'm there. So this, guys, is my new weekly spread and I absolutely love it. So starting with this page, I've just got the month and then the dates that are in this week, if that makes sense. And then I've got my tracker. Now my tracker, I used to do a monthly tracker, but I never keep kept up with it. I don't didn't flip back. So I thought if I put it on the same spread, maybe I'll do it. Then down here, I've got all of my events. Again, I don't know if you guys can really see, but I've got my color code there. And then I also just pencil in events that I'm not sure are going to come through. These events were quite last minute, which is why they weren't on here. I think one of them, yeah, the date night one was, and so was my course, but if something happens in the week, I'm not gonna go back and write it in my monthly plan, I just write it in the weekly plan. This section here is my to-do and goals section. Realistically, it's not gonna be a goals section, but it's just mostly to-dos. So I've just got stuff that I don't have a particular day that I want to complete it on. It's just something that I need to remember to do this week. Over on this side, I've got my mini calendar where I highlight the week, and then I've got really small boxes for each day of the week for my to-dos. Now, the reason why I like this spread is I don't need to waste space over here by writing in my events because the events are over here. And if I ever run out of space for to-dos, I can just write them in here. I think that this looks really cute and hand-drawn, and I really like the way that the colors look, and it looks really nice and bright. So I'm gonna be carrying this on into February. All right, guys, blabbing done. I'm onto my February setup. As you can see, if we look through, I've penciled in a whole bunch of stuff, but that's just the way that I like to plan. I like to make sure that everything is penciled out so that I can go ahead and just do it quickly and do it accurately and not make any mistakes. That being said, I'm probably gonna mess this up because it is super intricate. Really quickly before we start, I wanted to show you guys the supplies. So I use these markers. These are from Crayola and they're the super tips. These are from Kmart or Warehouse Stationery or Warehouse. They're really cheap and they work so well. That's what I've used throughout the rest of this journal. For my colored pens and my actual pen is also the same brand. I use the Stadler Brilliant Color Tri Plus Fine Liners. Um, I have 20 in here and I really love them. They're really vibrant and they don't really bleed that badly through the pages. And then of course I also have a pencil and a rubber. I just use a mechanical pencil. All right guys, without further ado, let's get right into the plan with me.
Okay guys, I'm back to finish off the video with just a quick walkthrough of what I've done. So I am so unbelievably happy with how this came out. I am, I was going to color in, but I'm way too scared to color in after my other coloring disaster that you guys would have seen. Then I've got this page, which again turned out so much better than I expected, other than the fact that I messed up with the rubber and bent the page, but that's okay. I will fill these in later. I'm still like, you know, a week and a half away from February, so I don't want to do goals and fill in my social stuff when it's not there yet. Also, this is very skimp. I know I have heaps of school dates in here, but I need to confirm them before I pen them. I also wrote in um, date on that day because Corpo and I are doing dates every second Saturday or Sunday. So, oh wait, I do have another event. I have um, Black Panther. I'm going to watch Black Panther on this Thursday here. And of course that's Valentine's Day on the Wednesday, but I'm not going to write that in because everybody knows that. And I also probably will need that day for something. Anyway, Yay! I forgot about that. So I've got black panther and we're going in gold class which is so exciting and I believe it's at 6.30 p.m. and if that's wrong who cares it's close enough. As you can see I did some heart detailing I'm pretty happy with how that came out and here's the page that I marked up. I marked up both of these so that is one line too high which really annoys me and I've left all of this in pencil I left this in pencil because I didn't want to write it in before I've confirmed it with myself I also want to um, see if I want to do this class I want to see if I can do a trial anyway this was the page that I messed up majorly so all I did was I cut out a page from the end of the book and I just redid the um, time tracker and I actually like it way better like this Again, I left this in pencil because I just want to think on it for another day before I write it in pen. But you can kind of get an idea of what it would look like. And then this will be my first week of February. So as you can see, if you compare that to this current week, I cut out the little doodle part because I think I'm just going to do some hearts around here and around the days and stuff. Um, and I switched those over because I think having the two calendars next to one another was a bit boxy. So I think that this will spread it out a little bit more. And I kind of don't really like that peach color. I thought I was going to love it, but it's a little bit too bright. So I think I'm going to stick with mostly pink and then accents of that peach. But yeah, that is my February setup. Okay guys, so that is everything for this bullet journal video. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. I welcome your guys' feedback, so if you have any feedback on this video, positive or negative, or about my spreads, or if you want to tell me about your bullet journal spreads, or if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below in the comments section. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!